Getting set for baseball now on a Thursday night from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight we wrap up this three game series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. It's Yankees baseball and it comes your way next. Jordan Montgomery will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here Danny. This guy's a pretty good pitcher and I was looking through the stats and one thing jumped out of me a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start that tells me a couple of things one he's not afraid to throw strikes and two when he does throw strikes he throws quality and he still gets people out. It'll be fun to watch this guy work in this one today. Here's Mookie Betts. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch. Oh, look out. And a very interesting way to begin the ball game here tonight. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty V, it hasn't been a very good homestand. And Dero, through the first five games of this set, one and four that's not going to get it done at this level. Yeah and, and have lost in a variety of ways whether it be on uh, on some bad pitching some mistakes in the middle of the zone untimely defense not swinging the bats well they have to find a way to get this win today. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter love the pitch call there 2 0 -oh. you know the guys geared up for a fastball and you drop a change up in the zone that's going to be a tough pitch to handle. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Reyes has it. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Well, one thing's for sure they love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Striding in for Boston, Dustin Pedroia. So we check out how he did in August versus how he's finishing off the season down the stretch here in September. First pitch of the at bat. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And this winds up inside for a ball, 2 0 now. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. Dero, this Gary Simmons, he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah, I'm okay with it though, Dan. You want to go east west, I'll make the adjustment. It's the north south that'll kill you. Now the 2 0 home. Taken on the inside corner for strike one. One of my favorite pitches in the game right there, the old Greg Maddox equalizer. Start it at the front hip and bring it back. Hit in the air down the right field line. Judge is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third. Next Go up for out. the Red Sox, Xander Bogart. First pitch on its way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. Down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Nope. Can't quite get the low outside Whoa. corner there. It's one and two. Just getting started here in the Bronx. Now here's a bouncing ball headed for Iglesias at short. 
throw in time, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. Sox zero. Yanks coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball, the show. Drew Pomeranz will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan, any thoughts? Drew Pomeranz, better known for that big overhand curveball that he has. A good fastball, not a great fastball. 91 to 93. Curveball is his best pitch. He will mix in an occasional changeup. Ready now, Jose Iglesias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The Yankees, the Jose Iglesias. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in winners of two straight and looking to get things turned around in what hasn't been all that amazing a stretch for them. Hey, not an easy thing to do, D-Row, to get a sweep, a three-game sweep on the road. They've won the first two, looking to put a bow on this one here. Yeah, to win three on the road, Dan, significantly difficult in today's game. You try and take care of business at home, this would be huge for this team. This is on the ground over to first. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, it's no secret. They need the big Giancarlo Stanton to turn it around soon. He's really been struggling, hitting under 200 over the last 10 games. He doesn't usually go into these long crowds, but right now he's truly in one. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Stepping up now, Ronald Torres, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. The one one misses ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Put in play to the right side of the infield. On to first, and there were two down. Batting third, right fielder, Aaron Judge. Into the box, Aaron Judge. He was hitless in the shutout last night. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses 1 and 1. And there's ball 2 now. Now the 2 1. And he fouls this one off. Pomerance is ready. Here's the 2 and 2. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. 
So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. Montgomery has found success in his career at limiting base hits. He usually turns in outings where his hits per nine numbers are really respectable, and obviously that goes a long way as a starting pitcher. Matty V, there's a couple of things that really hurt you when you're a starting pitcher. Walks and giving up many base hits per nine innings. This guy keeps the ball in play, doesn't give up a lot of hits, doesn't walk very many batters, and when you do that, it's a good recipe for success, and it's worked for him so far in his career. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Missed with a slider. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball is coming in at that plane right there. Quality take. Hit to third. Drury fields it cleanly. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. All right, boys, let's take a look at how the Yankees are setting up on defense. There. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Digging in, Domingo Santana. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Liner toward right center. And the Red Sox have their first hit of the ball game. Last pitch was a fastball, tries to double up with the same piece of cheese, and it gets turned around. Nice piece of hit. In now, Eduardo Nunez. As he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Come on now. 0 1, here's the pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Two home. Popped up. Torres is there. Two down. Batting seven. Catherine. Christian. Stepping in. Christian Vasquez comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. Two and one. Santana, the runner at first with two gone. He's fallen behind now, three and one.
three and one here it is drilled to first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over one left for the Red Sox we'll go to the bottom of the second no score. Giancarlo Stanton now. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. Giancarlo Stanton. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Owen oh, won the count. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. And it's one and one. Devers trying to get there. Here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. I understand pitching carefully to this guy in the box, but the man on deck doesn't represent any relief either. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. Chased one there as this is bounced to short. Bogarts has it. Throw on to first in time, one away. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up out D today. And let's take a look at outfielder Mookie Betts. You can make the argument he's the most dynamic player in our sport. Don't try and come inside with a fastball because it's getting turned around. But I don't think people realize how good he patrols the outfield. The ability to play all three positions with speed and a bazooka for an arm. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Gary Sanchez, batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Hey. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Way in front of that fastball. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove and he's definitely done that so far in the early going looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Brandon Drury will bat next. He swings and misses at a first pitch fastball 0 and 1 Drury stands 6 2 as you see him in the right handed box he's in his fourth season as a major league player Pomerantz into the windup here's the 0 1 breaking ball in for a strike aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. 
kind of pitching him backwards in this AB. Soft stuff early. Then those last two were fastballs trying to get it right by him. Here now the 2 2. Gets the outside corner, strike three. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. We'll move to the third with no score. Now in the box, Rafael Devers. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch to him. Now this is chopped foul at home plate. It's 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Pulled toward right center field. Here's Hicks to put it away, and that's out number one. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. This one's flared out toward left. Drury into shallow left, but he won't get there. It falls in. Uh, that's got to be frustrating for the pitcher right there. He's well aware of who's having great seasons and who's having the tough seasons at the plate for the opposition. This guy put him in the tough season bucket, and he just gave up a knock to him. Here's Mookie Betts. Loud contact by Mookie, and a ball carrying well to left field. Into the second deck, and gone! Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. 32 now for the season. And that gives the Red Sox a two to nothing lead. Two home runs in three days. I'd say he's seeing the ball pretty well right now. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. Riding in once again, Dustin Pedroia. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. A high fastball is in there. You know, Maddie, when I first broke into the league, you wouldn't see that high heater first pitch right out of the gate. But I think there's been a change in, in philosophy here. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, guys wanted to attack you more east-west, get you leaning left-right. Now you're seeing guys attack in the philosophy more north-south. Just with launch angles and exit velocities, I think guys are afraid to throw that sink and fastball for fear that guys are just going to run their barrel into it. Not the case with the high fastball. I mean, that fires me up right there. Opposite field knock, and in today's game, where every manager is employing hundreds of shifts to watch this batter go the other way was special. 
Here's Xander Bogarts now as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. And the pitch on two and one. He swings and misses, throw down. Bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. That very well could have been a hit run play, but that pitch was so far out of the zone, it really made it hard for the hitter to make any contact. Kind of left this teammate hung out to dry. Two out, nobody on. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Well, the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 2-0 Boston. Here's Didi Gregorius, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here's the first pitch to him. And he had to be looking for something else to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. In prior matchups against Drew Pomerantz, he's got eight hits in 23 at bats. He also has one home run. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Got a name. Stepping up to the plate, Greg Bird. Ready. Here's the first offering. Way out in front. He's looking really great on the bump right now. I mean, it's been a while since he's allowed a base runner, and he just jumped ahead of another hitter right there. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Stepping in now, Aaron Hicks. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He'll start this one at 274. Seven homers and 28 RBIs. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now the 2 0 is laid off, but in there for strike one.
swing and a little blooper to center. Bradley moving in, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Boy, this guy's been swinging a hot stick lately, and there's just another example. And even when he doesn't hit one on the barrel, he still manages another base hit. Yeah, don't overthink it. When you're flowing like he is right now, he's hot as a pistol. Everything's falling. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Iglesias is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Now the 1 0 finds the zone, strike one. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Hicks leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Lays off it to even the count two and two. All right, Jose. He's going. Hicks running from first. Pitch outside the throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. Thursday night baseball rolls on. We'll have more after this. Here's J.D. Martinez. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the fresh run and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First delivery to him on the way. And that one right down Main Street. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. 0-1 count and the pitch. And he nope. just misses with a curveball. What are you, crazy blue? Just got a piece up the line. That winds up foul. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there. Fouling it away. Do not expect a third. The one two is looked at off the plate for a ball. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two seamer running away but either way it worked out well for him. That's a well thrown pitch though. Into the wind up here comes the two two pitch. And this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. Standing in now, Domingo Santana. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. A base hit in his first trip. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Ah, oh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. I'll tell you, it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup. Back to back to back, he's looking really sharp right now. Ready for another chance? Eduardo Nunez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 
And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Big breaking ball and a beauty that time, one and two. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Three up. Three down, three strikeouts, not too shabby. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. <laughs> Leading off the inning, Jose Iglesias. Leading and the they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The wind up and the 0 1. Missed with a breaking ball. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Iglesias in front, three and one. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. Mm, gets him to swing and miss at the knuckle curve and it's full now three and two. He's probably frustrated with himself now after swinging at what should have been ball four. Time for a deep breath. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base so we'll see if they can get something going here. Digging in now for the Yankees Ronald Torres. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Come on. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Tried to go with the nasty backdoor breaking ball right there. Good job by the batter to take that pitch. Work the count even. Fly ball out to right field. Betts has a read on it. One out. Next for New York, Aaron Judge he was a strikeout victim in his first try. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Iglesias, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them.
into the box Giancarlo Stanton as he takes a cold strike on the black it's 0 and 1. Owen one here it comes and a sinker dips too low there into the dirt in fact two out with the man at first. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag and a dive but he's back in. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Betts moving to his left, and that retires the side. One left for the Yankees. They're down two to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Christian Vasquez. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure Matt that they want to stay as patient he's been throwing a lot of strikes they might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. And a fastball just a bit up. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Here's one hit softly down the line in left, but foul. Softly hit toward the hole. Torres fields it cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for the rest of First baseman. Riding in once again, Rafael Devers. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Come on, Yankee. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Now the 1 0. Misses for the second ball. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Now he's got himself ahead in the count. One out, nobody on. Three and oh now. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And that's low ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking Center deep fielding. every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. Ready for another chance? Jackie Bradley Jr. He singled his last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit back up the middle to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. It'd be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well.
Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at 93 that time. Oh one here's the pitch. Behind Owen two now. And right into the shift. Nunez is up with it. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. A little bit over halfway home tonight. Bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys. And they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Digging in to try it again. Brendan Drury. First pitch coming. Here it is. A high fastball is in there. Looking at his career totals, Drury carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit in the air out to right. Pedroia over to his left. Two gone. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. In now, Didi Gregorius. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail it here two to nothing. So the Red Sox lineup turns over and to the plate, Mookie Betts will get things going for the Red Sox with Dustin Pedroia to follow. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. You know, guys, sometimes guys don't like pulling the trigger. Oh, oh. They want to see something go by, calibrate the speed, calibrate the break, and then make their adjustments off that. Maybe that's the case right here. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. One one is looked at for ball number two. After two breaking pitches, a pretty good chance right now. You're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Lays off one and oh. He's one for two in this one. Now it's two and oh. Faces are empty, one man out. Outside and low, 3 and 0. Oh. Xander Bogarts waits on deck. Now the 3 and 0 oh offering is in there for strike one. And a fast 
fastball misses there. Ball four. Boy, oh boy, that's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Digging in once again, Xander Bogarts. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's set now the pitch. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1 0. This is where he might need a mound visit, whether it be from the shortstop, his pitching coach, or the catcher. These last couple of pitches have certainly gotten away from him. Come on, New York. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is under it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's J.D. Martinez. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's set and the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. home a swing and a miss strike one Pedroia is off of first with two away no contact there and it's one and two hey I get it you're all in fastball you're pulling the trigger at almost anything that is way too high he's gonna have to lower his sights Fastball sails on him, and that's to the backstop. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Well, I know what he was thinking there. The pitch before was way out of the zone, and he was hacking. So the pitcher says, hey, if he's going to swing at that, how about this? Solid strategy, except this time it didn't work out, and it's a wild pitch. Good change up in the dirt strike three the throw to first is in time and the inning is over Red Sox lead one as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead. The left handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. We'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that. Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. One hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Couldn't wait back a swing and a miss. Wind up and the 0 1. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1 and 2 now. The one two very weakly on the ground that goes foul so he stays alive with two strikes the next one two pitch and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight 
he's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weakly hit balls in this one. Digging in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. One for one after a single his first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. One out, nobody on. That finds the target. Nothing in two now. No balls, two strikes. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. He struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. That's back to back punch outs and he's really starting to rack them up now guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now. So he's got good stuff. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Jose Iglesias and Dan it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. First pitch of the at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off for ball one. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Hit the other way out toward right field. Betts has a read on it, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Back here in the Bronx, Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, here's a look at our game summary to this point. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Yankees, number 52, B. B. Sabathia. Ready for another shot now. Domingo Santana. Already the beginning of the seventh inning here, as this game has had a very brisk pace to it so far. Here comes the first pitch. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. The 1 0. He is swung on and missed, strike one. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. And here's one that misses as the count moves to two and one on the Boston right fielder. Fastball right over the outside corner. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Oh. 
Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Wait. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. All two. two and one. Sends on the ground out to second. Perez gloves it. Throw on to first is in time, and Sabathia has got himself two quick outs. Ready once again, Christian Vasquez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. First pitch coming, here it is. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Swinging bunt up the line. That rolls foul for strike one. Two out, nobody on. The one two. Gets him looking, strike three. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're up two to nothing. Ronald Torre is the next to bat. Over two from him so far in this one. Here's the pitch. And a ball one and oh. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left hander and a right hander begin to throw. One one popped him up Devers in foul ground and he brings it in on the warning track. The right fielder number 99. Aaron. Next for New York Aaron Judge over two for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Up around the face. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive, but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Betts has a read on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now that is Jim Carlos Stanton now. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. And now pitch on the way. Knuckle curve breaks outside for ball one. 
This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. One one. His fastball taken high for a ball. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They trail things here two to nothing. Next up for the Red Sox, Rafael Devers comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Way in front of that fastball. Wind up and the 0 1. And a neck high fastball that time. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Still even at two and two. Hey, he's got four foul balls in this A.B. right here. He's really making this pitcher grind for everything. Hit sharply on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox after the inning. Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat, and he's able to work a base hit. He threw everything but the kitchen sink at him. He threw off-speed pitches, fastballs. And on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate, just enough for a base hit. Here's Jackie Bradley now. And she'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Look over from Sabathia. Here's the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. Rounded down the third baseline. Uh, this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two is a slider that misses below the zone. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. Devers on it first. Nobody out. Let's go. 
ground ball sent back up the middle. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Mookie Betts will stand in again as we flash you back to earlier. He's accounted for their only runs of the ball game on one swing of the bat as this was the swing right Yo. here. Yo, knock in the routine, wide awake in a dream. Scratch that, sleepwalk in the reality. Think about some... From the stretch, swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Oh, one 1 count. Here's the pitch. And a ball diving into the dirt. A swing and a miss. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. 0 oh, and 2 count. Here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. That misses and we're even at two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now the three and two pick. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Nope. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Previous history with Sabathia, he's totaled 18 hits in 68 at-bats. 15 strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. Two of them down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Well, that's just not a good look for the guy in the mound. Base is loaded. You expect him to bear down and really fight to get an out, but instead, he walks home a run on four pitches. Here's Xander Bogarts now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hit on the ground out for short. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that! One run is scored. The run scores from second. Now a 5 0 lead. 
Now batting. Designated hitter, J.D. Next will be the cleanup hitter, J.D. Martinez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Now the first pitch from CC. Now a change up here to start things out but that'll dip a bit too low and it's 1 and 0. Well this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him but he's still out there and it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done though. Now the 1 0. On a line that's a base hit in the left field. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, D Row, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Now the Red Sox DH, Domingo Santana. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they can get out of this jam, though. Come on, New York. He's set. Here it comes. There's a strike. Getting that first pitch strike is really important when you're dealing with the bases loaded behind you. Good job to give himself the advantage there. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. Three runs already home here. That's ball Misses. Two. Ball two. Him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. Stepping in now, Eduardo Nunez, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall. One run scored. And a relay home, and he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Now batting, Nasser. Christian into the box, Christian Vasquez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. From the stretch, here's the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Martinez over at second. Nunez at first, one gone. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. So 
three and one. Rafael Devers looks like he'll get a second shot here in the inning. He waits on deck. First and second now, one man out. Hit in the air to right field. In comes Judge. He can't get to it. This one's down. The throw to the plate. And he will beat the tag. Safe at the plate. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. And it's fouled away. Shreve, a 6-4 lefty. He was selected in the 11th round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And that one just missed outside. Runners are at first and third, one away. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher's standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Hicks there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. But six runs here in the inning have taken a close game and broken it wide open. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Red Sox on top, eight to nothing. Digging in now for the Yankees, Gary Sanchez. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. The 0 1. Aye. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. Boy, it's hard to sit on an 0-2 fastball. I think that pitch just locked him up a bit. But lucky for him, it was just a little out of the zone. The one-two is laid off for ball two. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him from what I could tell. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. Smoke toward the hole. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. 
Brandon Drury will bat next. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Now here it comes. Yeah. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. One out, nobody on. Slapped hard the opposite way. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That's one of those tough luck outs that will drive you crazy as a hitter. He drove that fastball, but couldn't get it down, so he has to take hard contact as a consolation. Here's Didi Gregorius. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guys swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. In now, Greg Bird. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. We're moving along late into this one, and it's no surprise this guy continues to pitch well. Over 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you're doing that, you really put the hitters on the defensive. Comes set and the 0-1. Nope. And a fastball just a bit up. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. The 1-1 one, one home. Line drive to left. In there, a base hit. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And a change is forthcoming, as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll leave after a strong seven and two thirds here as he'll hope the bullpen can get the final four outs to secure his victory. Tyler Thornburg trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Tyler Thornburg. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. She'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Thornburg, a right-hander standing just under six foot at 5'11". He was selected in the third round back in the 2010 first-year player draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle rounds, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. Take him deep. A one pitch on its way. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. They're on the short end of an 8-0 score. Now the beautiful views of Manhattan at night. Welcome back to baseball on the show from right here in the Big Apple. Here's Mookie Betts. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Ninth hey. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Back up the middle. 
throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting number 15, second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Digging in, Dustin Pedroia. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Xander Bogarts will be next. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The hitter was dug in looking for something to hit, but he would have needed a telephone pole to hit that thing way out of the zone. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. First delivery to him on the way. That's a tough take. Pedroia stands at first with one out. Swing and a weak little line drive over to first. But this is speared by the first baseman. How about that? that ball wasn't actually smoked. More of a soft line drive, but a nice diving catch by the infielder right there, showing a lot of range. Here's J.D. Martinez. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone, it's ball one. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Two balls and no strikes now to the Red Sox left fielder. Now with the 2-0 count and the power at the plate, it could be fireworks time. This is the kind of count he makes his money in. The 2-0 on the way is a ball below the zone. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Now the 3-0 offering is looked at for the first strike. Full count now, three and two. Three, two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Grounder down the line at third. That's through. He's got a base hit, his second in this one, two for five now. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Turn and burn, baby. He smelled that heater coming inside right there. Didn't do too much damage with it, but was able to get the head out and drive it for a knock. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He went down on strikes last time up. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Oh and 2, here it is. And the changeup is way low that time. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2 and 2. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a 2-2 count right here. Interested to see what he goes to. The 2-2. Two -two. 
Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. So nothing doing here after the six run outburst the inning before. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order due up. It's the Red Sox eight and the Yankees nothing. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out, and over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. First pitch of the at bat. Slap hard the opposite way. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Hey, there's another mistake right there. That pitch was intended to be on the outside corner, but it ended up in the middle of the plate. Yeah, he's lucky he's getting this one back, Dan. You miss your spot by two, three feet like he did right there. This ball should have been driven even further. Ronald Ture is the next to bat. And there's a swing and a miss at an off speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. A oh, one pitch on its way. And this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change. He had to be sitting off speed right there. Hit out towards second. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Here's big Aaron Judge as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Iglesias at second. Torres at first with no outs. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. Sometimes guys get a little less aggressive pitching with a couple of runners on base, but not here. That was two good fastballs to take control of the bat and get the count to 0 and 2. Here it comes on nothing and two. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a high strike there, 0 and 1, with runners in scoring position this season. Stanton carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. High and deep to right center. Bradley is there. Two down. Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at bat. 
hit hard down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. Torres rounds the corner and is headed home. And it's not in time. He's safe as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Hey, guys, there had to be something in the scouting report right there. For him to be on top of that 0-0 change up the way he was, that was pretty special. Brandon Drury will bat next. Turned on down the line. And this is past him at third down the line. It's a fair ball. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking. But that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Here's Didi Gregorius as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. In his career, Gregorius is slugging just a little over 400. Not a huge threat, but he can certainly square one up on occasion. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Curveball that time, not even close. Two out here and a runner at second. And he'll look at a fastball here that's close, but it's two and one now. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Last chance for the Yankees. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Greg Bird would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. 8-3 tonight. The Boston Red Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Drew Pomerantz earns his eighth victory of the season. Jordan Montgomery pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.